Okay, so let me show you a little bit of the evolution of the work throughout these first weeks that we are living here. In the first week, I got sick and ended up not doing much. So it was only in the second week that I actually started doing anything around the house. It was when I put the bigger things like bookshelves, sofas, dressers in their more definitive places. In the third week, I organized better the little things in the kitchen and also in the wardrobes and I sorted out the books because there are quite a lot of books in here and they are all very dear to me. So they all have their dedicated space. In the fourth week, I began some of the few renovations that we are allowed here, such as converting the columns in the living room area into building shelves and turning the boiler area into a small storage room. I also took the time to find a permanent place for the little things, such as papers, equipment, power tools, and also started selecting some of the things that we are going to say goodbye to in order to fulfill our downsizing plan. It usually takes me four weeks to organize the house I am moving to and another two to four weeks for the small details. And I do it all while working on my graphic projects, doing my own laundry, cooking, cleaning, and of course, taking good care of Tom. And this is what the apartment looks like now. Sure, it's not finished, but certainly already feeling like home. Little by little, it is consolidating, and I believe that by the end of March, it will be finished. Over the next few weeks, we will be layering it by adding the curtains, rugs, artworks, re-upholstering the sofa bed, as well as two chairs in the living room, and finishing the built-in shelves. I am also planning to paint a big mural in the dining area. As always, thank you for watching.